Sometimes we get questions where we talk about uh, can commercial water haulers or water trucks be used in uh, water supply operations. So in general, <clears throat> right, they come pretty self-sufficient. They generally have pump and roll capability and all that. Uh, what you have to look at is how do they offload their water and how do they take it on. Most of the time they can't offload at a high rate, meaning they might be limited to 250, maybe 400 gallon a minute. So uh, this rig carries 4,000. We don't know a lot about it, uh, but it carries 4,000 gallons of water. You can see it has uh, water spray up front, so it's a road construction vehicle. You can see they use cam lock for their fittings uh, to make and break uh, fittings quickly. So we would think that you should be able to pump this thing off 250, maybe 300, maybe a little bit more. We come around back, <clears throat> you can see it has a big 4,000 gallon poly tank on it. And uh, separate engine drive. Sometimes these things have a PTO pump on them, but uh, this is a, a big Berkeley pump. <clears throat> separate engine drive on the back. And uh, so it pumps to both the front and the back of these spray devices. And then you can see that they just self-load over the top. There's no valves or anything. And we take a look at the pipe. And that's their fill pipe. So the fill has no valve. It's simply a two inch cam lock. It's actually part of the ladder going up. Uh, works pretty well, I would imagine. And uh, so it carries a lot of water, right? 4,000 gallons of water. You would want 4,000 gallons of water coming to your fire. The issue is you can't get rid of it fast, but it could support uh, some kind of wildland operation, right? Or an extended woods fire operation, perhaps, right? Where uh, fire flow is not gonna be that high. So again, each uh, individual water hauler is a little bit different. It's always worthy of taking a look at what's around you. Some places we've been, they have been able to work them into the operation. Uh, the point that comes to mind there is Kendall County, Texas, where they've put dumps on these things. But get out there, figure out who is uh, some of your commercial water trucks in the area, see how you might be able to use them. Uh, like we said on this one, uh, this one would slow down a tanker shuttle, but if I was fighting a uh, woods fire or some kind of uh, wildland fire where I needed water just not at a uh, fast delivery rate, then this would work probably just fine. I would just need to have a fitting to be able to hook up to that front discharge on this uh, street watering truck or roads department truck. So again, right there, you can probably figure out a, figure out a fitting there to make all of that work. So that's a three inch cam lock. You could put that down to two and a half inch hose and that would be your supply. So again, uh, commercial water haulers have their place. Take a look at what you got in your area. Think about how you might use them uh, in a large scale water supply operation if needed.